Hello everyone! Welcome to another Let It Die video. As you saw in the title, this will be another Hangman's Handbook video. For today's topic, we'll be covering the different fighters you can access and the breakdown of the stats they possess. We have a lot to cover, so hopefully you'll be able to bear with me. So you wanna climb the Tower of Barbs, right kiddo? But you can't do that without the use of fighters. So, fighters. It's basically your player character and you get one for free at the beginning. And it's always going to be a grade 1 all-rounder. So, what's an all-rounder? Well, an all-rounder is one of the 8 classes you can choose from in Let It Die. There's also the Striker, Defender, Attacker, Shooter, Collector, Skill Master, and Lucky Star. These classes have their unique specialization in terms of the 6 basic stats, HP, Stamina, Strength, Dexterity, Vitality, and Luck. I'll talk about the classes and the stats in a more in-depth manner later, but for now, let's just talk about how to unlock different grades of fighters. So as I've mentioned, you start off with a grade 1 fighter at the beginning of the game, but as you progress through the tower and hit different milestones, Uncle Death will sell you fighter classes of better grades. Getting better grade fighters will increase their base stats and by how much you can increase their levels. So for example, a grade 1 all-rounder usually has 200 HP to begin with and you can increase it 6 times for it to reach 330. But a grade 2 all-rounder usually starts with 250 and you can level it up 10 times for it to reach 475. I use the word usually because when you purchase fighters, they come with randomized stats, sometimes lesser than the base, sometimes higher than the base. But it all evens out to their maximum potential when you start using deathroids. What are deathroids? Well, that's a topic for another day. Now I wrote the script for unlocking the different grade fighters and it took too much space and according to my viewer retention stats, I'm looking at you guys, you guys click off the video somewhere around halfway mark so I have to speed things up. I'm not gonna ask why most of y'all just stay till 50% of the video but for the sake of keeping your attention, I've decided to just post the link on how to unlock the different grades of fighters in the description below since halfway through the script, I felt like I'm boring myself to death because I was writing repetitive information. Are you still there? Good! Let's proceed in discussing the different fighter types. Okay, now that that's out of the way, you may be asking yourself, what are the difference between the different classes? Well, each class has specialized splits when it comes to different stats. I'd also like to talk about the stats in conjunction with the specialized fighter because the Barb's Bible doesn't really say much about these stats and sometimes blatantly lie. Strength does not increase the power of all melee weapons, ya liar. It's not all that black and white. We're about to go in depth, so buckle up. The all-rounder is, yes, you guessed it, a well-rounded character. He's got an average amount of every stat and his death bag and decal slots are pretty decent in comparison to the other fighter classes. For these reasons, he can equip most weapons and armors which may be barred from other classes so if you plan on using different weapons, this class is the way to go. I personally use this fighter in most of my ventures in the tower because it deals decent damage, not squishy, and have enough death bag and decal slots. The Striker class specializes in having high health and strength. HP, or health points as you can tell, is your lifeblood. The more you have of this, the more hits you'll take before you explode into a gory mess. Strength affects the attack power of strength scaling gear, so weapons like the machete, the hammer, or the bowling ball weapon are the Striker's best friend. Striker has a lot more health than the all-rounder, but the all-rounder has a lot more vitality than the striker, so take that into account. Take this fighter if you want a mix of tankiness and melee damage. The shooter drops all other stats and focuses on dexterity. Dexterity is the stat that increases the damage of weapons which scale heavily on dexterity. They're usually long-range weapon but not all of them. Weapons like the assault rifle, pitching machine, or the Lion Knuckles give the shooter most power. If you're looking for a fighter who has decent health and can murder haters from afar, then the shooter is the perfect class for you. 
the attacker focuses on both strength and dexterity. Because of this, he can deal serious amounts of damage with weapons like the katana, the bow, or the static massager, because these weapons scale from both dexterity and strength almost equally. The only drawback to this class though is the fact that it has the lowest health and vitality among the 8 classes, which makes him a glass cannon. If you plan to run with him on the tower, prepare for a high risk run. I would say, however, that when I do my tower runs, all the other heater classes tickle me when they attack me, but when an tower hits me, my health bar melts, so maybe set him up for expeditions or as a TDM defender. Speaking of defenders, let's hop into the defender class. The defender class boasts the highest HP, stamina, and vitality. Obviously, stamina is gonna let you sprint more and attack more without losing your breath. You can see in the clip right now, the comparison of low and high stamina levels. Vitality lets you take less damage and contributes to the overall damage reduction from your gear. I swear, when I see 9 of these guys in TDM, I hit them a thousand times and they simply won't budge, so I resort to burning their clothes off with a flamethrower. If you want a solid defense for your TDM, or if you want to be an immovable rock in the tower, you may want to consider picking up the Defender class. The Lucky Star class is like the Shooter class but is tougher and has more strength. It also focuses on the Lock stat. The lock stat increases the amount of kill coins picked up by the player and increases the critical chance. As you can see on the screen, I've compared my crit chance and kill coins drop with the minimum and maximum lock levels of a striker. According to my resource sheet, having more than 68 lock is excessive when taking critical chance into account, but hey, if you want to reach 50% crit rate, be my guest. The Collector class has the highest death bag slots among the 8 classes. Your death bag slots allow you to pick up more items before having to go back to the base to offload them. His HP levels are almost the same with the striker, and he deals decent damage. If you're going for a materials run, pick this class, but personally I think this class is a waste of space. That's just my opinion though. Lastly, the Skill Master has the most decal slots unlocked early on, with it having 9 by grade 5. It has identical stats to the Lucky Star, but has lesser luck and vitality. Basically, use this class only if early on you have decals which have a huge impact like the high tier decals such as Warrior Monk, Golden Gym, and Red Diamond. I said use this class only if you obtain these decals early on, because all fighters can reach 8 skill decal slots if you use deathroids, which as I've said will be discussed in another video. So if my other classes can reach 8 skill decals, I personally don't see the appeal of using the skill master, but maybe I'm not being fair about this class. Tell me in the comments below if you use the skill master in climbing the tower, and argue why it should be used in the first place. Well, that took longer to cover than expected, but yeah, those are the different fighter classes and stats the game has to offer. And if you're still here, congratulations, you're part of the 20% of my viewers who stay till the end. And I say thank you. Really, I mean it. The community has been nothing but supportive of my videos, and as long as you guys keep supporting me, I'll keep making them. Anyways, I hope that this episode of Hangman's Handbook made your climb a little less hard, senpai. So, I hope you all were entertained by that video. Click here if you want to watch another video of mine which is selected by the magical YouTube algorithm. Please don't forget to gently click that like and subscribe button if you liked my content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys. Bye bye.